hello and welcome back to episode 6 of Third Rome. We're playing as Muscovy in EU4 with the 1.35 Ottoman update and the Domination DLC. We are working our way down the Muscovite mission tree. Doing pretty well so far. We need to get Black Sea access, so it's going to require some wars with um, Crimea and potentially the Ottomans, which is not an ideal situation, but... It is a situation. Uh, what is their current aggressive expansion with us? 37. So we've been doing a pretty decent job holding it down. Um, I think it is about time that we annex Bishkira. Kind of only released them as a quick little easy fix there. Uh, we need to deal with these rebels so that we can take care of oh so that we can take care of that uh let's get you up here to take this province back sabir will be a nice little vassal for us um for a little while uh i don't know why we didn't get these as an option to take maybe they were occupying a separate war or something i didn't see them pop up in the list maybe no i don't i don't know why Okay, we'll get you over here. We'll get you on to Moscow. Uh, we could take Diplotech, but we're pretty far ahead of time. Uh, one thing I was considering is that we have quite a bit of burger loyalty, so our dev cost reduction should be quite low at this point. Uh, we're still waiting on Novgorod to build this workshop anyway, but let me see here. So... We devved the institution in Moscow before. Colonialism is going to take a long time to get to us, so we're going to want to dev it. Now the question is, where? Is there a nearby trade center? Like, this is a trade center, right? So this is probably a decent place to do it. It's a little more expensive, but I feel like devving a trade center is always a good idea. So I think we will go with encourage development here. Uh, this is on protect trade. It might be better on feudal taxes. I'll leave it on protect trade. It might be better on feudal taxes, but I'll leave it on that. Okay, so we have that. We have our golden age. We have this set up. And is there a church here? There's not. Let's build a church here real quick. Take care of them. And then you need to unsiege Paranov. Oh, this is good too, because we'll get another dev cost reduction here as well. As well as aristocratic rule, which will give us autonomy change and governing capacity modifier. Spy network construction or prestige, we'll take the spy network construction. We've cored all of those provinces. I'm going to go ahead and seize land because we are still good with the burgers. Although they are going to trend downward, but I can do a little thing in the near future to fix that up as well. We don't have burger financial demand, huh? Probably because I was worried about them getting too disloyal. Indebted to the burgers, we need to pay that off. That'll get that fixed. And then, I could go for 20 local autonomy minus 15 local dev cost to centers of trade in the Novgorod trade node. So this is in the Novgorod trade node. So let's go ahead and do this too. We're going to maximize our deving here. Um, I Yeah, I just, I really want to take these, but... My burger loyalty is way too high right now. Why is it so high? Probably want to get Patriots and the Arts revoked. If I could. Do I have strong Dutch? I don't even have strong Dutchies. I don't know why the burger loyalty is so high on us. It might be some part of our mechanics. 
Anyway, once this is built, we can, like I said, we'll do something, and then we can also do... I got a couple little tricks for us. We want the church to be built first. And we're going to dev this province for super cheap. Oh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm going to swap my Patriarch Authority. I know I'm kind of wasting it, but... We want the dev cost reduction here. I guess I'll go ahead and do a little bit of promoting Mercantilism since we're so far ahead of time. And as soon as this is built, then we come here and we go, oh, our burger loyalty is too low, but then we sell titles, which will give us the dev cost reduction once again and a big chunk of money to work with as well, which we'll use to our advantage because we are going to do a couple things. We are going to... go ahead and build a workshop here because we're going to be using it anyway. And then do this, do this. 13, 14, 15. Expand infrastructure. Twenty five. Go ahead and upgrade the Trade Center again. Oh, that was the wrong button. I don't know why I clicked that. just wanted to come down here and see where we were at. So... Then expand infrastructure again. And there is colonialism. And now it will get to Moscow fairly quickly as well. And this has become a very valuable province for us. A free stability. Oh, I will take that easily. Um, transfer subject versus adaptive combat. We'll go with transfer subject for now at least. We may be able to use that at some point. And then I will spend the rest of this money that we gained on that. And then we can take tech for base price once we get to the institution. Uh, Vladimir, I would like to swap you back to the Feudal Taxes Edict. Gift to the state. I'll take the money. A new consort appears. National Unrest minus two. Prestige and Legitimacy hit, though. I mean, our guy's not that old. I'm sure we'll get a consort at some point. Um, yeah, this province up here, let's see, we need to take tech, so I still don't want to quite do this yet. It might be worth our time, though, to go through and start looking at getting some of these things stated. We'll go ahead and put that in a trade company, even though it's not super useful. I feel like it's still better than nothing. Wait, are these, these aren't trade companyable. No, okay. Even partial stating most of this stuff will do wonders for our economy. We still have plenty of governing cap left to handle all that. 
I do want to take my text before I do anything with that stating though. Um, Kasim Separatists. They're going to spawn on Kazimov, right? Or Yelets. So we'll split the diff. Austria is no longer a valid rival. We'll rival uh, Sweden instead. Is Denmark an OPM? If I could get my hands on that, that would be absolutely wonderful. Uh, this is going to be a free choice on this, so... I will take the Naval Doctrine, the Special Naval Doctrine. I mean, it's not the greatest, but I still feel like it's a good choice. Um, now that we have all of this stuff stated too, we should go through and put the Feudal Taxes Edict on all of it, because that will be more money in our pockets. And money is always a good thing for us. Yeah, not much, but whatever. We'll just run them. That's fine. Fifteen oh nine. We're gonna integrate Bishkira fairly soon. That was the province I did want them to spawn on. Because even if they got the uh, siege, then Denmark joined a trade league. Man, if I could get. Denmark as a subject. I could do quite a bit of reconquest against these guys. They're pretty close, honestly. Take some more Patriarch Authority. Ivan the Terrible. We're definitely going to take him. Yes, please. A 6'5", 6'15 year old? With a stab cost reduction? Oh, that is absolutely wonderful. The only question is, should I disinherit this guy and try for a better heir then? Because Ivan's going to roll for a while, so... Yeah, I don't think that's much of a concern for me. Uh, we can stop building up a spy network on the Ottomans, at least for now. Uh, we'll go ahead and influence Denmark. Proclaim a guarantee on them. See, I should still have the Diplo slot available to me. Keep on converting while we can. Okay, why'd that change so much? Because they joined the Empire. Oh! Hamburg and Burgundy. They're in the Lubeck Trade League. Are you in the Lubeck Trade League? You are. See, Gotland would be my best bet. Denmark does not have that much of this. Do I get a claim on Gotland at all? Let's go ahead and dissolve our alliance with them. I can build up a claim on them. I want that subjugation on Denmark. That would be absolutely enormous for us. Because they should still have quite a few cores, correct? They did lose these, but... Still, that's that's a, that's quite a bit on Sweden down there. And that would be control a lot of control on the Lubeck trade node, too. There is Bishkira. We'll bring the army over here. They can just join up with this one. And then we have the Bishkira gold mine. 
as well. So that'll be even more income for us once we get that dev up. And we should still have a lot of our dev cost reducing modifiers, correct? Oh yeah. So... Let's build a church here too, because that will help with deving. We'll go ahead and reduce autonomy everywhere. That'll give us some more money in our pockets. Um, and I think spamming out some more churches too just a good thing at this point. Let's go ahead and roll Mary Brandenburg once again. Um, all of our subjects are integrated, or are loyal. I don't want to integrate you guys yet. Kazakh would not be a bad idea, though. Yeah, we can do them. So, improve relations... They have a lot of cores over here as well, so that is fine. Skill 2 half price diplomat, not very important actually. Take your trade power. Um, I do want to get this deving done. Have we lost any of our other modifiers? I don't think so. So, 36 to Devit. I'll even go ahead and do an expand infrastructure on it. It is a little expensive because it's a mountain, but like I said, it is a gold province, so that'll be some good money in our pockets. The Ottomans have rivaled us. That's not good. And Gotland, is Gotland in the Empire? They are. That's right. I forgot they joined the Empire too, so this isn't even really a good end. And they're allied to Poland, so... Yeah, that's not going to do anything for us. Maybe I shouldn't have broke that alliance. Uh, well, maybe that's just a pipe dream anyway. We can continue working on Kazakh, though. Did I influence them already? I did. Military access. We'll go ahead and continue our conversions. Uh, we're going to need money to get this at this point, right? Have I fixed this yet? Yes, I did. Okay, so... My best bet for getting money is to take out burger loans again. Um... I want to go ahead and revoke this though, because I don't need it anymore. I only did that for the um, the deving. That will let us embrace institution, and we can get both of these texts for nice and cheap. And now we'll go ahead and start working our way on getting all of this cored up. Uh, the other money, I will just go ahead and repay at least one loan for now. Fifteen oh nine. We can do that. Workshop in Vladimir. We've outclassed a lot of our rivals, so. I guess, um, I guess we rival the big boys. That must mean we're pretty high up there, right? Oh yeah, we're number one. 
Only ahead of the Ottomans, though, because they don't have the institution, but still, it's always a nice place to be. I'm going to start currying favors with these guys, because we're going to need those favors. Proclaim a guarantee. Lose 10 legitimacy or lose my administrative advisor. He is half price, so no, that's preposterous. It is downright outrageous. We'll take the admin points once again. Once again, continue coring what we can. I'll just go ahead and squash these rebels for now. Oh yeah, the Ottomans took Crimea. I knew that was coming. Who are you rival to? The Mamluks and me in Poland. Yeah, Poland don't like me, though. Austria don't like me, either. I'm going to basically have to go mono a mono with the uh, Ottomans to get that land back. We could definitely build up a bigger army, though, that's for sure. We're making a lot of money, so... At this point, our only real... The only thing really holding us back is the... Uh, The, um, what's it called? I'm going to swap to this. The, uh, the manpower. We lost a bunch of claims. That is the one drawback to how we're playing this. Like I said, Sweden was a little out of reach anyway at the moment. Because we'd have to deal with England. I just want to see, is there anyone that would knowledge share with us? No. Increased production efficiency will increase their loyalty. We can go ahead and seize land once again. Take some more admin points, yes please. Keep on coring. I don't know if there's anything else we can really do to boost this any quicker. Because at this point, we're just trying to get our trust built up anyway. A little bit of Dippler rep would help. We already got some from that. I can probably revoke oversight by the Patriarchs. That's a little unnecessary. Could take military tech super far ahead of time. Not really seeing much reason to do so. Uh, so instead, I will at least recruit a couple generals with our... Ooh, that's a good guy. We have 91 army tradition, so let's hunt for some solid generals. Hold on, we're gonna... Oh, oh I didn't mean to get rid of the King Key store, but that's not a big deal. There we go. We will keep... You and you. Go ahead and keep on coring this stuff up. Take some more of that. Core some more. Once we get to admin tech 10, that is pretty nice. We'll go ahead and up, we'll, we'll take that guy now, I think. Um, I'm still going to need the Dippler reputation for the time being, so I'll just take the plus one guy. Patriarch Authority, sure.
keep building churches. Keep on quarrying provinces. Keep on converting provinces. I guess we can stop building a spy network on Gotland. Bohemia does have 49,000 men. It wouldn't help against the uh, Ottomans, though. Don't understand why you wouldn't help with the uh, greatest threat to the Christian world, but I guess that is the case. I at least want to get a spy network built on you. And on you. We'll need to get Bohemia to break that alliance. That is something I would definitely, definitely like to see happen. So would you please kindly... Your, or was that Poland? Oh, Poland is guaranteeing... No, Bohemia. Oh, Bohemia is the emperor. Oh, I didn't realize Bohemia became the emperor. Well, no point in doing that now. Uh, we'll build up a spy network on you. Well, if you're the emperor, you should definitely want to help me against the Ottomans. Right? You would think. You would think. Alright, you guys, I think we're good. So give me some more trust, please. And there we go. Vassalize. Boom. Perfect. Build up our spy network on these guys. Our truce is up when 89 or 1515, so a couple more years. That's 1514, no guy. Chiravon and Ajam. Not really much of a concern. Ajam will be a little annoying to deal with, but. Let's do a little bit more conquest before the end of this video. Land of Churches. Core creation cost for 25 years. Sounds actually really good to me. And then cost of reducing war exhaustion till the end of the game. Independence of the Russian Orthodox Church. 50 admin power, 10 patriarch authority. And a bunch of that. Go ahead and core up a bunch more provinces. Continue coring up those provinces. Um... Go ahead and take the Discipline guy. Now that we have this guy, we can just go ahead and get the Improved Relations guy. They're expensive, but they are fine. We're going to go ahead and take Tech now, just because we are so far ahead of time. On points, it's that or Dev. And if we Dev, we're going to really hit our cap pretty fast. Get on to Shiravan. Traveling Minstrel for some free admin power, sure. Uh, loyal Subjects is also a very nice shore. Go ahead and keep on converting them Catholic provinces. Can't core this stuff while we're at war with no guy, so that is fine. We'll go ahead and... I actually think doing some courthouses will be a little important in the near future. Not a good air again. 
Still, Ivan's only 21. We'll try for another one. We can try a few times, honestly. Yeah, we even have some claims on Transoxiana, so we might get down into those too. Jump on here, take care of them, siege this province down as well. Oh, I didn't mean to dit that one, but it's not that big of a deal. We don't have claims on Chirifon, so we'll probably just piece them out. Let's make our way down into Ajan proper. I could actually just get right on their capital. Ten army tradition, sounds good. Get onto this fort as well. Diplo Tech, we're still ahead of time, so no rush on that. Uh, we'll just take the Boyer Loyalty. Go ahead and take the Legitimacy. Don't want to upgrade my units yet. Uh, Shiravan, I would like a bunch from you. Money, War Apps, Trade, Power, and a Rivalry. That all sounds good. Some Prestige is always nice for me. Are you going the long way around or something? Yeah, there they are. I, I really hate when uh, the computer does that. Take this fort, please. Uh, yeah, we'll spend that money. We'll extend those loans. Get on up there and deal with these guys before they siege us down too much. Alright, since I have their capital, I should at least be able to get money and war apps from them. That's pretty much all that I care about. I'll actually just take the lump sum of money, that's fine. Go ahead and start upgrading the Winter Palace, it should be cheaper anyway. So, get that going along. We have that, we spent that money, so we might as well use it. get you up there. You can go ahead and destroy the Nogai army. I will take the admin points here. And then we'll get over here and deal with the Great Horde Separatists. We can take Adaptive Combat Terrain. We can take... Can't core anything else up yet. Uh, let's see about conversions. Do some culture conversions on all of these provinces that are of the correct culture. Since we have so many points to work with, might as well use them, correct? Take care of this. Get up here. Twelve pretender rebels, huh? And no guy separatists as well. We're going to say Yuriev. Squash them. Get down here to Saratov. Get up here, deal with these guys. Beshkirian Separatist on Zlatust. Two, five, three. That might be about best we're going to get. 10 is generally considered good and that's our third fish. Um, I don't want to cast out too many lines there. State firearm regiments, yeah, not really necessary. Go ahead and annex what's left of Nogai. Take as much money from them as we can. Kazan's the only country that cares about it. We'll go ahead and core all of that. And then claim the steps will give us more admin points, another conquistador, and a bunch more claims. So that's going to involve us going back into Uzbek, which we can do next year. Uh, before I end this video, let's go ahead and 
Diplo reputation of at least one. What's our Diplo rep currently? Negative. Oh, I didn't have integration policy active. Okay, so Diplo rep of at least one. There we go. And then we seize Crownlands, get us a little higher. Uh, we could go ahead, and well, we can't revoke that yet, so we'll hold on to it. Well, that would have made it quicker to annex those guys anyway. All right, but yeah, that's a good place to end this episode. If you like the episode, I'd appreciate a like. If you really like the episode, I would appreciate a subscription. And I really hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.